Well, everyone, the iPhone 12 is in a very, very weird situation because, first of all, we really don't know what the future of this iPhone kind of holds because of certain weird things Apple did when the iPhone 14 actually launched. So what do I mean by this? Well, essentially, when you know, we all kind of know this, when a brand new iPhone comes out, Apple will usually go ahead and pretty much discontinue some of the older ones or and or they will usually drop down the price tag of some other iPhones in their whole entire lineup. The iPhone SE usually you know, stays the same, but with the more expensive you know, iPhone 12, 13, 14 to the future, these iPhones will see price drop after price drop. But the weird thing is, is that with the iPhone 11, Apple went ahead and discontinued that iPhone, which you know they should have. They dropped support of that thing. They dropped selling that thing in the brand new market. But then they didn't drop down another iPhone to that $499 price tag. So basically, you can no longer buy a brand new iPhone for $499 directly from Apple. So that was a very interesting thing that I saw. I mean, it's very, very rare that Apple goes ahead and removes a complete lineup of an iPhone. And they actually ended up doing that here. Now, this brings us straight to our next situation, which is actually with the iPhone 12. So what is going to happen to the iPhone 12 that is currently at $599. Is that iPhone going to go ahead and drop down to $499? Or is that iPhone going to go ahead and stay at that same price tag? Is it going to go down? Is it going to be discontinued? There's going to be a very, very weird situation for both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 mini since they're both at that same price tag. Now, I do think or I you know, did think that Apple was going to make another iPhone at that $499 price tag, not dropping down another you know, iPhone here or there, but actually going through and making an iPhone SE 4 of some sort. So they would have two iPhone SEs at the very bottom list and then the more expensive ones you know, kind of at the top, but that actually didn't end up happening. So this kind of caused some other issues with our iPhones too, because you know, at that $499 price tag, are we going to end up seeing these iPhones kind of increasing in price? Price in a way, because if they removed in a line, a complete lineup of an iPhone, that is going to make it really, really hard for people to go ahead and justify, I guess, going up to another iPhone. I guess if the other iPhone is so close in price tag, so that is something that I personally saw in this case. I don't know what's going to be happening, but I hope Apple doesn't discontinue the iPhone 12. I think it's always good to have like a cheaper iPhone, especially even at that 4.99 price tag. So we're going to have to see what happens in about like six or seven months when the iPhone 15s come out, and we're gonna have to see what Apple does with the older iPhones. So I love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.